Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Maths with Jaws. Today I will talk on numerical integration with Desmos. Desmos is an online graphing calculator which has both mobile application and web application. Desmos is also very helpful in understanding the topics of limits, continuity, maxima, minima, etc. And it is also very useful for numerical, for numerical integration. That is for the approximation of definite integral. So for numerical integration, uh, you just have to open a link that I have saved here. And uh, then you have to choose the function. For example, this is the Simpson rule. So you have to choose the function uh, e power minus x or some other function. The lower limit is minus 1 upper limit is one and the number n. Uh, this is even number that to be chosen for Simpson rule. So let us start a link. I have saved some link. For example, we will start from midpoint rule. Uh, in this window, we can see that uh, f of x a zero b six this is the actually the definite integral of the function f of x from 0 to 6 with number of rectangles equal to 4. Uh, if you want to choose another function for example e raised to the power x and let's say the lower limit is minus 1 upper limit is 1 and first choose n is equal to 1 only also click on this home button and two times double click i uh, will zoom it so we can see that midpoint rule means the area of a rectangle in case of n is equal to one we have only one rectangle and uh, we have the points lower limit is minus one upper limit is plus one so if this is a and this is b a plus b divided by two midpoint is zero in this case and uh, the function value of at zero is e raised to the power zero, which is one. So one is the height of the rectangle. And uh, we can see that from minus one to one, one minus minus one or two is the base. Base multiplied by height is this area of the rectangle, which is the approximation. Uh, but we can see from the exact value, if we find by calculator, the exact value of the integral from minus 1 to 1 of the function e raised to the power x. The exact value is 2.350 something, while the approximate value in case of only one rectangle is just 2. So this is not a good approximation. We need to get better accuracy. So we have to increase the number of n. If we use n is equal to 2, it is still 2.25 but the actual value is 2.35 so we need to increase the number of rectangles if n is equal to 4 in each rectangle we can see that the the height is chosen according to the midpoint for example the midpoint of minus 1 and minus 0 0.5 is minus 7.5 and height is 0.47 Two, four. Similarly, you can see the heights according to the midpoints in each rectangle. You can see from these. So, in case of n is equal to four, we have three point. Uh, so, sorry, two point three two. But the actual result is two point three five. We still need to increase. If we choose n is equal to ten. It is still 2.34 something. If n is equal to 20, still 2.34. n is equal to 50, we have 2.350 and 2.350, which is accurate to three decimal places only. If we increase the number of rectangles, you will get better accuracy. For example, 100. We have 2.350. 1000. 
we also know that uh, midpoint rule is a special case of the Raman sum with if we choose regular partition for Raman sum that become midpoint rule and in Raman sum if n tends to infinity that is the exact definite integral uh, in fact that is the definition of the definite integral is limit of Raman sum when the number of subintervals approaches to infinity so we can see that this is almost 2.350401, almost equal to four or five decimal places. So uh, that's it for midpoint rule. Now let us open another link for trapezoidal rule, which is another numerical integration method. Here we can see that uh, the first uh, diagram the first geometrical figure is not a trapezoid while this is a trapezoidal rule this is due to the value of the lower limit zero because the function value at zero is zero so we cannot have a trapezoidal a trapezoid or trapezium in this case so let us choose the limit is one now we can see that we have a trapezium or trapezoid for n is equal to three we have three trapeziums if n is equal to 1, we have only one trapezium. Or n is equal to 2, we have two trapeziums. And the one trapezium is almost a rectangle only. So let us choose n is equal to 4, 10. For example, 120. Here the case is the same as date of uh, midpoint rule if n tends to infinity it is almost the exact value but how to find the exact value of this by calculator we have x e raised to the power x e raised to the power minus 0.5 times x limits from minus 1 to one no no sorry limit from from one to six so we have two point eight four two five it is equal to four decimal places now similarly you can increase the number of trapeziums and can get the better accuracy you can also choose some other function for example e raised to the power minus x square and let us choose minus one to one in order to get uh, an uh, in order to get a symmetric shape if n is equal to for example two we have just two trapezium for n is equal to one we have only one trapezium but in that case one trapezium just a rectangle it is not good n is equal to three is also not good four five ten twenty one twenty sorry one twenty Similarly, if we increase the number of n, we can get better approximate result. And in this case, we have no exact value. So we just have to increase the number of n to get a better result for the area under the graph of e power minus x square from minus one to one. Uh, next is Simpson's rule. This is the Simpson rule for a function sine of 8 minus 2x cos of 4 minus 6. This function. We can choose another function, for example, if we want to choose the same e raised to the power e raised to the power x. And suppose this is a different code. And it's more. This is a ready-made code. 
sorry, from A is minus one, while B is plus one. And uh, the number of, the number N and Simpson rule is, for example, two. We can see this. If we increase the number in Simpson rule, we uh, note that N is even in Simpson one over, one over three rule and composite Simpson one over three rule. This is composite Simpson rule or Simpson one over three rule. We can also see its formula. This is the formula for composite Simpson rule, which is valid only when N is even or composite one over three Simpson rule. Uh, you can also see the formula for midpoint. Here is the formula, general formula for composite midpoint rule. And also you can see the trapezoidal rule formula. Now come back to the, in case of n is equal to four, n is equal to six, we have six, one, two, three, four, five, six parabolas. No, I mean three parabolas, sorry. Because in case of n is equal to two from x naught, x1, x2, we have only one parabola. So uh, we have three parabolas in case of n is equal to six with different colors. So the parabola, because in Simpson one over three rule, we use second Lagrange interpolating polynomial. Okay, if n is equal to eight, n is equal to 10, we can have a better result, 2.350. Now, uh, in this, in this uh, code, there are some limitations. We cannot increase the value uh, very large. So let us use this one in which we can increase the, for example, e raised to the power x and lower limit is minus one upper limit is one if uh, let us click on this two times on zoom in case of n is equal to two we have this black color parabola in case of n is equal to four we will have, have two parabolas but no colors are given here If we increase the value of n as 10, we will have better result. And we can compare this with exec 2.3504. But here we have zero and here we have two. So let us increase it further. If n is equal to 100, of course, this is far better than trapezoidal and midpoint rule. Similarly, we can see this one. We can use any function and lower limit, upper limit, and have the results. Okay, so after numerical integration, I also like to tell you about this most that uh, if you want to sketch some graphs of a function, for example, there is a function x, the graph of x is this. If you write x square, this is the graph of x square. If you write x cube, the graph of x cube. If you write sine of x, you can also sketch more than one function. For example, cos of x. These are different functions, etc. etc. Also, if there is a function x sine of one by x, for example, and if you zoom it. This is the oscillatory behavior between minus 0.2 and 0.2, or minus 0.1 and 0.1. Let us also sketch another function, absolute of x and minus absolute of x. In projector mode, we can see this. So this mode is very helpful for uh, understanding uh, graphical 
graphical representation in case of numerical as well as other important topics and calculus. Thank you for watching this video.